how to make sweet fermented rice, also known as junyang in Chinese. Ingredients. You will need sweet rice, which you can find at any Asian market, and you'll need some specialized Chinese distiller's yeast balls. You can find these at any Chinese market, or you can also find them in the link below. Next, you're going to want to measure out four cups of your sweet rice and put it in a pot. I'm going to use a rice cooker to cook my rice, just to make things simple. Wash your rice with water until the water you see is clear. Notice how the water is murky and white. Keep rinsing your rice until the water is no longer murky. This is about clear enough. I'm going to use the same water to cook the rice later, so make sure you have the right amount of water to rice ratio. I'm going to cover the pot and let it sit for about 6 hours. After about 6 hours, you're going to want to check if the rice is ready to cook. You'll know if the rice is ready if you can crush a grain in your hand. a rice cooker to cook my rice. Simply set the rice cooker to white rice and let it do its job. Once your rice is done cooking, take the pot out of the rice cooker. You're going to want to let the rice sit and cool down to room temperature. Make sure to cover the pot so the rice does not dry out. Meanwhile, take some pre-boiled water that's cooled down so that it's just warm to the touch. Dissolve two of your yeast balls into this water. It's alright if you don't get it completely dissolved. Just do the best that you can. At this point, and from this point onwards, it's extremely important to make sure that all your utensils are very clean. Make sure to wash the spoon, the bowls, and anything else you will be using that will come in contact with this yeast was washed with hot water and soap. scoop out your cooled down cooked rice into a large clean bowl. Be careful not to smush any of your rice grains in this process. Now take your yeast mixture and slowly pour it onto your rice. Mix it well with your rice and make sure to be careful not to smush any of the grains. unbroken clumps of rice. The goal is to have the yeast be able to touch every individual grain.
glass hole in the middle. You'll use this later to see if there's water forming during the fermentation process. However, in my experience, the hole later disappears as the rice collapses in on itself. But that's okay, it's not necessary. Cover the rice such that no sunlight will hit it. Leave the rice in a warm place for about 2-4 to four days while it ferments. The best temperature is about 80-95 to 95 degrees. Here I am checking the progress of my rice about 2 days later. check on the progress of your rice, but make sure to use a very clean utensil to do any kind of taste testing. You can already see a little bit of water has formed. This is good. After a brief tasting, I could tell that it needed a little bit more time. The rice did not taste quite right yet. The rice should be tasting sweet and alcoholic when it's ready. checking the rice about another day later, so it's been about three days of fermentation now. You can see at this point even more water has formed. I'm going to let it sit for another half day. see a close-up of the rice. It's already tasting more alcoholic. After another half day, the rice is ready and you can go ahead and put it into a jar and stick it in the fridge. You may see a layer form on top where the rice seems to have congealed. Discard this layer and just take the rice from underneath. That's how you make sweet fermented rice.